let's bling out some phone cases, y'all. So the first thing we're going to do is let's throw some paint on here. Let's go ahead and get a base coat. Wildberry and my peacock feather blue. And of course, I've been using these. So peacock feather blue and wildberry. Isn't that beautiful? Love these colors. Love the bright, bold colors. I also have my custom mix of pewter and just a touch of midnight. This is going to. Now, this is the amazing casting resin kit. It comes with two 16 ounce bottles, some little popsicle stick stirrers, and three measuring cups for you to measure and mix your material. Iron Orchid Design manufactured these with the volumetric measurements here. So to fill in this sunflower cavity, properly you need 26 milliliters of amazing casting resin so you'll have a perfect sunflower on our measuring cup this goes up to 30 so i'm going to need 13 of each part there is a 12 and a half i'd say we go with the mark that we can see so that we measure properly. Now, I have a thing I do. I measure into one, pour into the other. That way I don't, I don't know. It's just what I like to do. This is your A side. Let's see, 12 and a half. Nope, that's seven and a half. There's my 12 and a half. Measure it, tink, tink, tink. Don't spill it. Don't drip it. Boom. Equal parts. Always make sure you have equal parts of the resin before you mix them up. If you make a mistake, let me pop back over here for a second. If you make a mistake when you're pouring your casting resin, don't panic. Don't start trying to rip it out. If you do not mix them equally, they will not cure the way they need to. Don't panic. It's okay. Don't try to scrape them out. Leave them see it. Put them in the freezer. Let them freeze hard. Pop them out. Go again. Let's pour some sunflowers. I love this sunflower mold, and I am so excited to bling my phone case with this resin. Tink to two. Look at that resin curing. Let's do it again. Let's do it one more time. So we have our part A and our part B. <clears throat> We don't know, because this is not one of the brand new molds, we don't have those volumetric measurements here. So, we need to not overfill our container. So let's go with the 12 and a half again. Look at it turning right in front of us. All right, watch this. Pop it loose from your edges. It's still warm, so it's still a little bit flexible. Got a little goopy right there where I tried to fill back in. It's okay. Just form the peak. Just touch it and let go, and that's your peak. So we'll set that to the side. I don't think my rabbit is ready. Nope, not yet. You can always tell if you bend your molds and nothing pops no edges pop, that it's still curing. And when you pick it up underneath, it is warm. So you know it's doing its job. Let it work. Now, we're not 
molding this to a surface. So we might pull these. Yeah, we can do that. We can pull these um, tips of these petals over the edges. So while it's still nice and warm, let's go ahead and put our glue on. Make sure you get enough, not too much. I always like to take a brush, wet it, just damp, and pull that glue into place, making sure that we're all the way out to the tip edges because those will be your weak points and you don't want anything to get up underneath it, rip your fingernail off, or rip off your mold. Now, these are going to be pretty sturdy. Let's lay it down and let's go ahead and roll those edges. If you find that your casting is already getting firm and you can't roll it, your hair dryer will work. Not as good as a heat gun. So if you have a heat gun, this is a good time to employ your heat gun. Take one of your um, clamps or even a binder clip works great to hold this in its place. Let's check on our rabbit and our acorns because, yes, there we go. Now, one of the things that happens, and I do it frequently, is I over pour the edges. Just peel it off, throw it in the trash. It's really not good for anything. Don't try to salvage it. It's not going to be attractive in your mold if you try to save it. His little leg is going to stretch. He's going to have 10 foot long rabbit feet. He's still a little goopy. Look at him. He's so cute. Now we know because the wild berry didn't dry real quickly, we know this is going to take just a little bit of time to dry. We're going to let it. Now I've got some glue squishing out, and if I push down, it'll really squish out. There's a fix for that. Once you start tacking up, you can take a wet paintbrush or a damp Q-tip, and you can just kind of squish around the edges and get some of that excess glue off before you paint. If you don't, you'll have little ridges of glue and it, you know, it won't really bother anything. I think if you look, there's so many layers of paint on here, but if you look at my birds, you can see where I squished glue out around the edges and it doesn't bother me a bit. To me, it gives me a little bit more texture when I paint to add to. And I think this has been painted maybe six times or more. Isn't that going to be the cutest little phone cover ever? I mean, like, I love my birds. But now I can swap my phone case out and change up to my fall festival. I can also, let me see, this is still wet, change out to my beautiful sunflower. And if I want to change my colors, poof, all I've got to do is paint it. If you have any questions about any of the projects that we do, please feel free to reach out and let me know what I can do to help you create your own unique projects. Remember, YouTube, click the subscribe and like button, share it with your friends and your crafters. And let's hit that 500 mark by Halloween for a prize pack.